Let them speak. Review hours 1 to 27. Please repeat or answer. They must be really good friends. Do you wish you could have taken a photo with them? How long has it been since you last took a photo with another person? Where did you get to take it? How did you first happen to meet them? Did you get them to do that with their fingers like you see those two doing? Do you use the cloud to store your photos after taking them? How often do you end up actually printing some of your photos? Which of your photos do you feel is the best? Do any of your friends ever let you go through their phone so that you can see their photos? Would you let your friends look at the photos on your phone if they asked to see them? Which one of your friends asks you to take pictures with them the most? Do they always make you smile whenever you have the chance to take photos together? That must be a really expensive cup of coffee. Would they charge more to serve coffee in a cup like that? Do they usually ask you to return those cups to the counter before leaving? Aren't they afraid that you might take it home instead of giving it back? Doesn't coffee taste better whenever you get the chance to drink it from a cup like that?
Don't you feel like you can enjoy drinking coffee more if you use a good cup? If you had gone there for coffee, would you have gotten a pastry to eat too? Can you tell if they manage to make their own pastries there? All I tend to usually have for breakfast is coffee and a pastry. Do you prefer buying coffee to go most of the time? How long is it since you went out to get coffee in a place like that? Do those places tend to be more expensive than if you got your coffee at a fast food place? Do you wish that you could go there every morning so that you could have coffee there? Do you spend more on coffee than you spend on a pastry at those places? Do you ever bring your computer to do a little work when you go to places like that? How long would they let you sit there and work on your computer before asking you to leave? Does it look like the baby is in a deep sleep? Are you trying to keep quiet so that you don't wake up the baby? How many hours a day did her mom tell you that the baby winds up sleeping? Did she tell you that she felt lucky that her baby sleeps straight through the night? Did she say that she'll have to feed the baby as soon as she wakes up?
Did you ask her how long it will be before the baby starts walking? Did she say that she looks forward to seeing her baby take her first steps? Did you ask her whether she has any difficulty finding a babysitter if she'd like to go out alone? If she lived nearer her parents, wouldn't it be easy to ask them whenever she needs it? While you were young, did you ever get to babysit to make a little extra money? Have you got any idea how much these days people would ask an hour to babysit? Wouldn't you have more trouble finding a babysitter to take care of an infant like that? Which of your friends would you ask to babysit your infant? How are they? Do they seem to be having fun walking around there? Did you happen to see them walking around there a lot while you were out? Can you tell what they are trying to do? Would you stop to talk with them if they happened to come up to you? Wouldn't you feel a bit awkward the first time you met them? Have you seen them talking to people ever since you got there today? Were you interested in hearing them talk as soon as you saw them? Don't you wish that you were as outgoing as they are? When you go out in public, don't you wish people noticed you more?
What sort of people would be interested in talking to you the most? Don't you wish you could be out on that boat with those people? Do you have any idea why it is that all of them appear to be standing up? Can you tell if they're just looking for fish to catch and eat for supper? Wouldn't fish be swimming too deep to be able to see them clearly? Wouldn't it have been easy to fall off the boat like that if the seas were rougher? As long as the seas are calm, shouldn't they be safe standing like that? Would you be interested in going out to sea in a boat as small as that? Do you wish one of your friends owned a boat like that so that they could take you for a ride? Do any of your friends have enough money to buy one? Did you ever get seasick while riding a boat? There is no sense buying a boat if you tend to become seasick easily on them. Does he appear to be using that to see people moving on the streets? He must be using it so that he makes it hard for people to see him looking at things. Is that the safest way to see if the enemy is getting near? Isn't he afraid he might get shot if the enemy sees him trying to hide? Wouldn't soldiers be using that the most so that they can look for the enemy?
There is no point letting the enemy easily see you looking around. If he happened to see the enemy coming, who would he tell there? Would they try to surprise them before they knew they were hiding? He must feel tense while he's in the middle of doing that. Doesn't he wish there was peace in his country? What would he look forward to doing if there wasn't any war? Did he tell you that he couldn't help fighting to defend his country? Did you ask him how long he's had to do that? She must feel really frightened standing there. You can't help but feeling sorry for her. Does she look a lot younger than you? Were you ever in a situation like that? Has she been crying ever since she began standing in that line? Does that wire keep her from going to the other side? Would she have felt better had her parents been with her while she was there? Has she got any idea where they have gone to? Did you ask her how long it's been since she last saw them? Will some of the other adults there help her to find them as soon as they get through the line? Could you have helped her had she asked you to help her find her parents?
Did she tell you that she wishes that she knew where they were so that she could be with them? Did she say that she has felt terribly upset since when she lost contact with them? Wouldn't it have been better if they had brought her to the front of the line to get help first? Don't you wish they would get a person to do that for her? He must feel thrilled that he was able to land safely after taking his journey by sea. Have you got any idea how long it took his boat to get there? Did he tell you they were supposed to get there much earlier? How did he say the sea was while he was making the crossing? Shouldn't they have waited for a calmer day to make that journey? Did he say that he felt ecstatic at the time they reached the beach there? Did he tell you that he was so worried police may stop him so he better hurry? Has he had to wait for her before they both can start walking off the beach? She must feel totally overwhelmed after completing that trip. Can you tell if she's crying or not? Did he tell you that he wished he could have gotten there with more of his family? Did you ask him where he hoped to go now that he arrived safely? Did you ask him if all of the people in the boat managed to make it there safely?
Does it appear that the other people decided to just leave their life vests on the beach and leave? Does it seem like she's late going on her way to church? Would they let her go into church if she dressed like that? Shouldn't she have thought of wearing a different outfit to go to church in? Will she be going to get her nails done instead of first going to church? Does she appear to be talking to a friend on the phone while walking fast? Does she seem to be interested in looking at the painting on the wall? Does she seem to have other things on her mind at the time she's walking by? Do you wish you knew where you could find that mural? If you had the chance to see it, would you have taken a photo there? That must have taken a long time to complete. Would you have been able to do it better had they asked you to paint it? Wouldn't you have had a lot of difficulty painting the mural as good as that? He must have had a hard life. Have you got any idea how many hours he's been laying there? Do you end up seeing a person like that whenever you happen to pass by there? He must have decided to go to sleep there so that he wouldn't have to lay on the ground. If you recognized him, what would you have done? Wouldn't it be terribly uncomfortable to try to get to sleep there?
Wouldn't it sound way too noisy to be able to sleep there? Isn't it ironic that he's laying in front of that advertisement? If he called that phone number, would that guy be able to help him find a solution to his problems? Would a lawyer have helped him if he wasn't able to pay money? Where would be a good place to send him to get some better help than that? In case you ever wound up being in that situation, who would come to help you? How often do you see people with mental health issues laying out in public like that? Most of the time, do they have problems finding help so that they can deal with their problems? Shouldn't the government try to make available more services to help people like that? Did he just see his girlfriend staring at him, dancing with that woman? Didn't his girlfriend know that he would be there? How did it make him wind up feeling? Is he getting more nervous now that he knows she sees him having fun dancing there? Doesn't it seem like he won't know how to make up a good excuse? Did his girlfriend tell you that he was supposed to be at home? Would you have been as surprised as he looks if that same thing happened to you? How is he going to be able to explain this to her? Will he keep dancing until the music stops before he goes to talk to his girlfriend?
would he need to have a good excuse so that he can explain why he is there without her? What would be a good excuse to give her now that she's seen him dancing there? Does that woman have any idea that his girlfriend just showed up? She must not know he looks shocked since she hasn't seen his face. Shouldn't he have let her know what he was planning on doing before? I couldn't help stop watching him as soon as I knew he knew his girlfriend was there. Doesn't it seem like they really enjoy studying together? Doesn't it sound like they're having fun studying together at the time they took this photo? Is she used to laughing a lot every time she gets to study with him? Did she tell you how often he manages to make her laugh? Does he begin laughing as soon as he hears her laughing? Did she tell you that he isn't the same as most of the other teachers? Can any of the other students there hear her laughing out loud when he just made her laugh? Did she tell you that she looks forward to going to learn whenever he gets to teach the class? Did she say that she wishes that he would have the chance to teach more of her classes? He must be popular with most of the students in that school.
The students can't help but like him. She must have the chance to hug him a lot. Has she been in love with him as long as they have known each other? Did he drop by to see what she felt like doing later tonight? Does he seem to be interested in doing that with her now that she suggested it? Would she have a good time going out to dance with him if he wanted to go? Did he say she's a much better dancer than he is? Did he say that he sometimes gets embarrassed since he's not that good at dancing? Does the other guy wish that they could all go out to the nightclub together tonight? Would he need to go home first so that he could get dressed up? Did they tell him that they would pick him up at a quarter till eight so that they could go together? Did he tell them that he would need more time to get to ready get ready to go than that? Did he tell them that he would need more time to get ready to go than that? Did she begin teasing him since he seems to take so much time to get ready all the time? What type of nightclub did they decide to go out together to? Would you enjoy going out with them in case they asked you if you were interested in going? Would you buy all of them a drink if you got to go out with them to the nightclub? Why don't we all go out together to have a good time? Don't those flamingos make you want to smile every time you have the chance to see them? Where would you have to go in order to see them walking around?
Would it take a lot of time to get there if you had the time to go? Doesn't it seem that they always go around in groups when you see them? They must feel safer together whenever they're like that. Have you got any idea why it is that they're all looking the same way? Would they begin flying away as soon as you got too close to them? Would you have difficulty catching one of them? Do children seem to enjoy looking at flamingos the most? If you wrote a children's book, would you think of adding pictures of a flamingo? That must be a really refreshing place to sit and relax when it becomes hot and humid. Are some of the people using umbrellas so that they can keep the sun off of them? Do you ever use an umbrella to do that in case it gets sunny like that outside? Which park in your city do you feel like going to relax the most? How often do you manage to go to relax there? How long would it take to go there if you had to walk there from your house? Who do you wish you could go there with today if they were available? Would it be worth going there to have a picnic as long as the weather wasn't really hot? What type of food would you prepare so that you could have it there? Would you prefer getting it at a store to bring instead of making it yourself? Would it be all right to bring some beer with you to drink there? Doesn't that seem like a peaceful place to live?
Those two guys must live in that area. Can you see other people talking on the sidewalks? Do there seem to be enough lights so that the streets are well lit at night? Would you be interested in painting your house blue like that if you had to paint your house? Wouldn't it look a lot better if they had managed to put some flowers on the third floor balcony? What kind of flowers would you think of putting up there to make it look more beautiful? Doesn't it appear that it would be too small to put a lot of chairs on that balcony? Shouldn't they put at least one chair up there to relax in? Could you hear people talking on the streets if you were sitting up there? Do you like overhearing people's conversations? Thank you.